<sighs> so we're playing Rumbo, just waiting for Squid to get home because he got out of work late and uh, the, the only thing that's going to be live is the YouTube, the actual uh, podcast itself will not be live. Um, it's because uh, Sean has to go to work and it's Thanksgiving and fuck Thanksgiving. <laughs> um, so yeah, but no worries, we're gonna, we're gonna have fun with this, it's gonna be fun. Um, let me just send this out to Twitter, because Twitter is awesome. And uh, we'll get started. Um, Rainbow was given to us by uh, the developer to actually um, to actually review, so I'm kind of getting ahead of myself and trying to like do this game. And to kind of give it a new, uh, new flavor, new, new thing to start on. Uh, live streaming now. Cool. Uh, so yeah, so, you know, kind of bring out the fun in this game. Hopefully we do good with it, hopefully we don't, I don't know, but I had to fix him a couple stuff, so let's start. Wait, what did I do? Holy shit, back. Two, two. Okay, cool. Um, Satura's space energy. Take on a behemoth if you dare. So, I don't know what this all is. This is this is actually an original uh, Wii U game, which is pretty cool in itself. So. Okay. Cool, it's Shantae, Lila, Red you. Oh, that's cool. Um, let's, you go. let's press, let's play Shantae. Um, <laughs> I guess, let's do medium, let's do, let's do 10, okay, let's do 5. Power ups, chaos, mass confusion, hurry up and guide the past two barrels, swap his head up by pure skull. What the? What the fuck is this? Okay, so, um, let's do pure skill. And let's do... what kind of palette do we have? Let's do this one. Okay, I guess we can play. I have no idea how to play. Okay. Whoa, okay. Okay, I think I got this. This is like a platformer, okay. Come on. Okay. Oh shit. Okay. Very cool. Uh, eh, ha, ha, ha. Bitch. I'm awesome. Cool. Brave misunderstanding. So it's a running game, which that's pretty cool. Boop, boop. Okay. Maybe not. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. So. The colors is what defines us. Oh shit! Okay, I died. I guess this would be pretty fun if you had friends and stuff. That would be really cool. Okay. That damn it. Okay. Right there. Uh huh. Uh huh. Babooch. Okay, I died again. <laughs> okay. Not bad, people. Not bad. Okay. Nope. Not gonna get me now. Damn it. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Eh. Oh god, damn it, come on, come on. Okay. Damn it. Oh my god, holy shit. This is game is a little harder than I thought. Okay, let's try this again. This kind of reminds me of a uh, speedrun. There was actually there's a game called a hey, speedrun. I may be wrong. Okay. Alright, cool. 
shit. shit. What the frickity fuck? Okay. I really like this game. Let's do Epic Adventure. Uh, so that's DLC. No way back. I want. I want Shot Tank. Because she's awesome. Have you ever played that game, by the way? That was, that was a really good game. The Lost Luau of Doom. The music soundtrack's pretty cool. Holy shit, this game's pretty, pretty fun. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who, are you? Who is this guy? Who's this guy? Hamilton jerk. <clears throat> Black and gray, and being the colors, and stealing a trophy. Uh huh. Yep, that's something about it. And Shantae is to the rescue, mind you. Defeat all of Satura's challenges. Oh, because she's like saturate. <laughs> I got the joke. Waiting for a change, reach the trophy. Okay. Let's go. Boop, 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 boop. Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Eh. Huh. Oh, shit. Wait, come on. Eh. Ow! Oh. oh really? Okay, cool. Alright, that's fine. I'm gonna look at that. Okay. God damn it. Stupid. This is stupid. Okay. Okay, here. Haha. <laughs> Bitch. 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 I'm awesome. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. Thank you. Oh, God damn it. God, God damn it. No, 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 no. Haha. -ha. I win. <coughs> uh, triple jump, four up. Let's do triple jump. Just trying to make this hard as possible for us, shall we? Oh boy, here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, no, that did not work as I want it. There we go. I'm, oh, okay, there's a timer. Okay, oh shit, oh shit. Okay, the waterfall's a pallet. I did not, I'm not gonna lie, did not notice that. Okay, nope. Oh shit, okay. Oh shit, oh okay. Okay, alright, alright, alright. Come on, come on, come on. No, 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 fuck, 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 fuck. Come on, alright. Got it. I'm awesome. Sweet. Under a minute. Yay, I win. Cool, cool beans. Uh, why do you fall? Fight with my butt. Let's defeat six enemies. Holy shit, we're gonna fight. Oh, damn it. Okay. Haha, <laughs> bitch. Alright. Is there only? Oh, there is. Okay. Okay. Uh huh, bitch. Yay, I win. 43 seconds. Not too good. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Would you like to dance? The names are pretty funny. And they're like kind of puns. What the fuck? What the? 
the freaking fuck is this bullshit? No, 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 fuck, oh fuck. <sighs> okay, now this, now this shit's getting serious. Come on, come on, come on, come on, thank you. Uh huh, bitch. I win. I win. I won. I'm pretty proud of that. Uh, sorry. Get, uh, reach the city. Let's bounce. Collect. Collect 10 Rumbux. What? What are Rumbux? Those are Rumbux. Sweet. Haha, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> oh, fuck. Fuck you. Okay, get rid of the buff. Get rid of the buff. Seven. Oh, ow. How did that. How did that miss? I got it. And I won an achievement at the same time. I'm pretty proud. We can do this. A lesson in point. Unlock Swift. Let's do a lesson in pointy objects. Trying to make ourselves, our lives difficult, shall we? Holy shit, this is gonna be difficult. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, okay. Oh shit, okay, nope, that did not happen. I just jumped in there. Okay. Okay. Shit. 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 Okay. Shit. Oh, fucking me. God damn it. Okay. All right. Let's try this again. Let's try this again. Okay. No. Whoop. Uh huh. Nope. Wait. Wait. Fuck. No. Frickity fuck. Okay. Alright. Try this again. Try this again. I am a pro. I'm a pro. No, no, no. Fuck. Alright. <clears throat> I can do this. Beautiful. Beautiful. No, no, no. Fuck. This one? Nope. Not gonna get me this time, bitch. Okay, this time. No! Fuck! Ah! Oh boy. This game better not be me reach. Cause this game is good, but it's not that good. Yeah. No. God damn it! Kind of getting pun, the wonderful pun. Cause why the fuck not? Puns are the greatest things of life, right? Wrong. Come on. Okay. The God damn it! The colors change so fast. Shit. Nope. Oh. How about the 
<laughs> okay, I'm not gonna fall for this shit again. <laughs> go, go, thank you, thank you, hate you, hate you too, hate you too, bye. Oh fuck. Okay. Oh god damn it. You, ha ha, I beat you, I beat you. Oh. Um, let's try two tone, cause why not? No, 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 fuck. No! God damn it. Oh god. Fuck you. I'm not dealing with this shit. Nope. Nope. Oh, just, nope. <laughs> Bitch. Okay. No, fuck. Oh god damn it. <sighs> it's fine. It's totally fine. Totally fine. You and the ass, cause holy shit, you are not fun. Oh, oh fuck. Whoa. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, you're funny, you're funny, you're funny, you're funny. So I think I'm hesitating too much. I think I'm hesitating too much. Maybe just me. Maybe just me. But holy shit. Holy shit. This game is not fun. I mean it's fun, but it's just... Ugh. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Nope. No. No, 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 no. Nope. 
Let's go. I can do this. Holy shit. I can do this. Why is it so difficult? And I believe Eric is calling me. Because holy shit. Give me one second, Eric. Because I am streaming me. Oh, the fuck, fuck, fuck. God damn it. Gonna get Eric because holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, because holy shit, why not? <sighs> Come on, Skype, open up, open up, open up to me. Uh, holy shit, there's a lot of people. Uh, let's get Eric. Let's get Eric. Eric, my friend. Let's add you to the call. There we go. Hi, Eric. Hello. So, we're live, by the way, on YouTube. Hi everybody. Um, Shout outs to the YouTube. Sean has to work tonight, which is obvious because of Black Friday. Um, I told them we'll just use the recording we have from here and we'll send it over there to him. And I'll okay. I'll probably get it all edited for him too, so that he could just pop it in. Makes sense. So I'm thinking around nine, we should be done. I hope. Okay. Works I'm playing. I'm hmm. playing this wonderful game called Rumbo, right? Mm -hmm. Super fun. No, I don't want to exit. Okay, super fun, right? Cause this game is a platforming game, and I've already died maybe twenty times already. <laughs> maybe twenty times. Maybe. Fuck. Fuck. Nope. Fuck. Fuck. Nope. Thank you. So, hi everyone. Welcome to the fuck. No. 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 I, I like that as a new name for the show, but we have to come up with a new logo and everything. That would be some brain issues. Welcome to the Fox Team Squid Show Fuck No, and uh, we're playing Rumbo. So, um, today's show is Fuck No. <laughs> today's show is not going to be on the speaker podcast. Fuck No! No fuck damn it! It's gonna, not going to be on the speaker podcast because Sean is working for, you know, Black Friday and stuff. So... He's pulling it I, 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 I swear, if you listen to the football five, he should have followed my plan. What did what did the football five say? By the way, the football fuck the fuck <laughs> the football five is another show on the W two M network that you guys can check out. So continue. Well, we were talking about it, and he said, you know, where he works and stuff, and he have to deal with Black Friday, and I was like, well. With his job, there's a certain thing that he can do, and I was thinking, hey, maybe you control all of your customers throughout the store. And he said, no, well, that's someone else's job. And he's like, well, take a little bit of money and give said person a break so that way you could do it. As a subtle bit of vengeance, you know, fuck you for having to work in advance of Black Friday. So, yeah. Shit. Yes, yes, fuck, yes, fuck, yes. Okay, sorry. I'm sorry. You were saying? No, I was just saying. I don't know if he actually followed my advice or not. I he, hope for his sake he did. He said that he was running. He, no, I'm saying running. Playing a running game slash platformer. But he says that he was going in at uh, like uh, what you call it? Um, at 9:30. Which I thought he was going in at 12 because he, he said that he. Fuck! He worked an all nighter, but. Um, it, which is fine because I, I completely understand that. This is why I am not working at Ross anymore. I'm working yeah. someplace nicer. Which I still have to work Friday, but I mean, there's gonna be Black Friday deals anyways and Cyber Monday deals and whatnot. Mm hmm. I'm just lucky I have Friday off. <laughs> Fuck! Damn it, the stupid mushroom. I hate mushrooms. So, how has been your week, Eric? How, and let's start off with a squiddy week, huh? My week has been very, very annoying, especially thanks to work. Mm -hmm. 
Um, granted, this is a word that I almost never use because I was told by a couple of very long-standing female friends that if I were to use this word, they would beat me mercilessly and cry out feminism while doing so. Um, oh my goodness, what is the word? Shit, 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 shit. Okay, yeah, we're good, we're good. No, it's not that one, something worse. What is it? I win. Well, I will use this at the end of the sentence. I'm pretty sure my boss is a total cunt. Okay, why? And then I may give you reason. She has no people skills. Mm -hmm. She's made no attempt to bother with any of us. She has been all about oh, production. She, even though I'm one of the more higher producing people in my department, she harps on me for no apparent reason. And on top of no. that, she gives me shit about minuscule things and I came to work this morning to a scathing audit for no reason. An audit? Yes. What so what does that mean? Um, basically, well, my work was going over, which is fine, but the fact that I was given a merit, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so wait, you got you got rid enough? Shit. Eric. Hello. <clears throat> I hope Sorry. we're not. Oh, okay, okay. I, I don't think we should be experiencing any technical difficulties like last week. No, no, I've... Techni no technical difficulties like last week or like any accidental leaving on of mics like what happened in the Football 5, mm -hmm. which, yeah, that brought up a new machine that doesn't. Anyway, yeah, I just Dead. had to take care Whoa. of some quick no, business. No, no, no! <laughs> okay, continue. But, but with the demerit, that basically would count against my quality score when it comes to what I do. And apparently the guy who also worked on the same thing with me, he sent a follow-up about it that was equally scathing and uh, I gave him a little shout out for that. So he had my back. So she gave you I guess like a write-up notice because she thought your quality of work wasn't up to standards. Right. But it turns out for things that were extremely subjective and not just what she did, it was being extremely nitpicky. Oh, okay. <laughs> but has she have you had problems before at work or is that was just something that you that you that that like that she start, she had a bad day and you think that she had a bad day and she just wanted to take it out on you? Um, I very rarely I have had like issues with that before, mostly because if I'm going on Stuff, but all of my past, even my current supervisor and past supervisors and managers, they find ways to sit me down and talk about it to see what was wrong. And my current manager has mm. done absolutely nothing. She's been there nearly a year and I have had all of one positive experience with her. Is she... Like, how long have you been in the company? Um... If it's a company, I, I could be just assuming. No, no, it is a company, and four and a half, a little more than four and a half years, maybe five. So, pretty, so, so a pretty good long while, then. Mm-hmm. And especially with the incredible amount of turnover in my oh, department... Damn it! only like three or well one two three four five people are still there from when i started with the company and that was you said about three years or mm -mm. no may of 2012 oh shit so, so yeah, four nearly, years yeah four and again four and a half may will be five damn yeah. And you you were one of the very few people that have been there? Shit. Nope. Of everybody currently in my department, there's only... I am one of only five people that were... The, well, that was in the department when I started. This is annoying. 
This is Amon. Thank you, Reckless Gaming, by the way, for enjoying the video. I know you're Diamond's brother. I just wanted to give a shout out for you, and I appreciate you for uh, actually enjoying. Uh, Reckless Gaming, I have a co worker named Diane. She's super awesome, by the way. Tell your sister okay. she's super awesome. Um, not your sister, Eric. Reckless Gaming's uh, sister. Mm -hmm. And um, she's super awesome. Like, uh, I, I can count, fuck, I can count on her a lot when it comes to my job. And she told me that, you know, her brother was like really into the gaming stuff and mm -hmm. watching people game. And I was like, well, here's my YouTube channel. Enjoy. Which, by the way, I. Oh, I had such a wonderful, wonderful beginning of the week. Do you want to know how my week went? Do you want to know how. Uh, uh, of course, because I'm sure it was a lot <laughs> less dramatic than mine. Oh, I don't know about dramatic. I'll, I'll give you that one. So, Saturday, I went in an extra day, right? Because Friday, my boss was in here, and I was one of the only people in the lab. Um, mind you, there's a couple of stuff in the in my department that, like, for example, my boss knows a lot of stuff. She doesn't know everything, but she knows the majority of what the job entails, which is data entry, but there's a couple of other stuff. Oh, I'm not dying. A couple of other stuff that entails in the job. In the, the job. So what happened was she was telling me um, that the thing is that we do these things called holiday shoots. Mm. And that the thing about holiday shoots is that they, fuck, I was almost there. Um, the thing is that they're in a certain way, they, they have to be done in a certain way. And there's a bunch of more stuff than just like what we do for the yearbooks. So on Friday, she wasn't there and... I was speaking to one of the managers, whose name is Rosie, and she was explaining to me that um, the girl that normally does them, you know, she will do them, but she hasn't taught anybody new to do them. So I told her, well, you know, I would be happy to be happy to learn. Feel free to send her my way, or I'll go to her or whatever, and I'll learn. And so then she was telling me that um, I could, go, I was able to go in Saturday, and holy shit, this is hard. So I was able to go in Saturday, and haha, -ha, bitch, haha, -ha, no, no, god damn it. So she was telling me that I could go in Saturday. So I went in Saturday, went in, had some, had my fun, and uh, I met the girl that taught me, that would teach me how to do uh, what you call it, uh, the holiday shoots, how to oh, actually nice. do them. So I learned, learned a bunch of new shit, right? And I go in Monday, you know, with my notes in hand. Mind you, I'm, I'm still feeling a little um, confident because I don't, I, I, this would be my first time doing them. Mm -hmm. Get the school, get one school that we were working on before she left Saturday. And next thing I know, I find out that there is this one school, Kids University, right? Mm -hmm. That wants it done by 3.30 on Monday. And I, oh, I, hmm. I, I only knew a couple of things. I like, I was like a, a baby deer in strung in headlights and mm -hmm. I didn't know what the fuck to do so what was interesting is that fuck I keep dying so what was interesting is that I did it you know stressed but I did it um, mm -hmm. I didn't let it get taken out of my work like out of the people though like I, I worked until I, I couldn't I, I you know I worked I worked it out and I was able to do it and I did pretty well on it I only got one person who called from customer service who, um, oh shit, who they called because by the time that the photos went in, there was one, there's a thing like the photographers take the pic, the photographers are supposed to take the pictures of vertical, right? But the thing okay. is that the, uh, there's sometimes, sometimes they'll take it horizontal and when they take it horizontal, I can't really, uh, crop it out. Damn it. I can't really crop it out because it doesn't look right. So uh, yeah, so landscape instead of portrait. Exactly, but I had to fix um these greeting cards because the only template I had was in uh, vertical. The horizontal ones I had them, but they said 2015 and not 2016. Luckily mm -hmm. though, um, the Photoshop people helped me out in that that they took care of it, and I was able to get the hor get them horizontal. Um, and I learned again. I like I learned a bunch of new stuff. Like I pretty much know how to do my job, my boss's job. Oh, That's nice. yeah. No fuck. Damn it. Yeah, it it, it, it reminds me of a time to where, <clears throat> oh God, this is about 
me almost four years ago now, I had been training on one of the products in our company. And keep in mind, I got a little bit of training right when I started. But it was a completely different process for the main stuff that I work on. So I got a little bit more training. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, excuse me. Yes, I am eating dinner, by the way. Oh, hope you're enjoying it. I am. It's quite delicious. No, damn it! (laughs) But the people, like, the girls who trained me, two of them are still there these people, they were the best ones to teach me how to do it, everything was fine. So finally, I get trained, and all of a sudden one of them is out, so my boss at the time said, hey, can you step in and work on this? And I was just like, okay, it's just fine. So keep in mind, it's only like, within my first couple of days of doing this, then a tour walks by. Mm -hmm. One of the top executives showing off for, you know, partners, potential investors, Mm -hmm. things like that. So I have to go explain the entire process to him Mm -hmm. because he thought I was working on something else. Mm -hmm. In my mind, I was like, oh, fuck. All right, let's see, do this and see what happens. Thankfully, the people didn't have any additional questions, but I was like, I just explained this nearly flawlessly. How did I pull this off? Um, you oh. know, what's interesting about my job, and I really appreciate that my job is very laid back in the sense of that, like, I think the bad, the most worst thing that you could probably do in my job is if you print something and, number one, you don't own up to it, and number two, if you print it knowing that you were going to waste resources. But that's mm-hmm. about it. And so what, what I really appreciate that because that for me gives me like less stress and especially in something that I have literally no clue well, guys, I, no clue what exactly I'm doing. And um, now I know of course because I've done it and, and I feel more secure about it and everything seems to have come out okay. But it, it's still something pretty big. I think the only thing that I probably still am unsure about is the... Um, the online uh, actual pictures, like when people have their passwords to enter the picture f- online, I think that's the only thing that I'm uh, I'm a little uncertain about because I tried putting the password in, but it wouldn't work. So, uh, mm-hmm. but other than that, like I feel pretty proud that I, I was able to get it so fast. In fact, Diamond, um, Reckless Gaming Sister. She was telling me that um, she, when I left, I think Monday, they were talking about me and saying that um, I, they really appreciate that I learned so fast. And how the fuck am I supposed to do this? Okay. Let me, let me. That's because you took the time and you stepped up. Yeah. They always appreciate when you step up like that. And I, you know what? I like a job that appreciates me for doing that, you know? Especially because yeah. there's not like for example in Ross, I, I yeah they have this thing where there can be like, uh, oh you know check out like they'll give you these cards to reward you and the thing is like cards is fine but a lot of the times employees want to hear the mm-hmm. the good that they're doing and again like I really really appreciate that holy shit what the fuck yeah it, it's same thing with mine instead of cards they've gone to a system of ch- Chips. Chips. <sighs> yes. So stupid. So incredibly stupid. <laughs> Is it really that stupid? Fuck. Yes. Yes. Because different <laughs> chips in different colors based upon different people and different things relating to the company. And I'm just like, it's really just no. You, you know what that reminds me of when we were in like middle school, elementary school, and they had the card system. Yellow card for you were on a roll or uh, not even a, if you were on the roll. Like, if, oh shit, if you were in the middle between red and, and red was bad and green was good and you had a good day and like you get reward like i don't want to say that it's a bad uh, it's a bad strategy in hoping that your employees maintain like they keep in line 
but it is a bit childish. And as I was saying, like, <clears throat> I, I want to hear my employer, my boss, tell me, hey, you did oh, a good yeah. job. Oh, yeah. And all of my past bosses, they've gone out of their way to say, hey, thank you. One of my bosses, when, I, when we were first revamping our Spanish sites, took those of us that work on Spanish sites out to dinner. Mm-hmm. Another one gave me a special card for some of the products we did and having them done just perfectly. And I appreciate stuff like that. But this, you're right. Oh, especially over the last year, we're being treated not just oh, yeah. me individually, but our whole department is five-year-olds. And don't even get me started on the card system because I just had a flashback to fifth grade and mm-hmm. yeah. God, I remember thing. all the colors and everything. And you know what? Like the cards are great, but at the end of the day, what's going to determine that raise? What's going to determine that uh, employee of the month, for example, that allows you to ascertain certain limits? What's going to what is, what are the cards going to determine whether you move from part time to full time? And again, I, I don't want to say that it's a bad strategy. But it's a strategy that number one is used for when when um, when there's like bad kids and like it was used in elementary school. And it's yeah. also a strategy where um, it's not supposed to be meant as a long term. And it's noted because like I remember working at Ross, I had the cards and the cards, mm-hmm. you know, so many people had them, but that still didn't mean that they could get full time positions. I remember there was oh. one. There was actually one. Um, I want to say uh, loss prevention officer who re- he actually reminded mm-hmm. me a lot about you uh, because of his form of being and, and how, how funny he could be in his jokes and stuff like <laughs> he was always trying to find a joke that would make me laugh and I I it was stupid jokes but you know he was trying and stuff and he would yeah. always say the most darnest things like it was really funny but the thing is that um those cards he had so many of them and he gave so he didn't give so many but he gave them to the people who deserved it and the boss really didn't take that into consideration for a lot of things i don't know if he's excuse me still working there now but i do know that that a lot of people that i worked with they did not get the chance to they did not get the chance to actually uh, earn a raise or full time like that for me is there where I find the usefulness the, like the uselessness of the cards oh, or of the of me. that system of your coins for ex- your coin system for example. Well, what's even more useless is the fact that we get so many chips every month and they encourage us to distribute them. And oh, by the way, you were talking about employee of the month. Mm -hmm. No such thing as my job. You were talking about raises. No, we don't have those either. (sighs) Damn it. Um, you see, that's where I have to ask. Like, when you're in a job, what are you going to? Like, for example, in my job, I'm going to try to learn as much as I can, because I feel like there's a lot to learn. And holy shit, I was like, oh no, no, I didn't. Um, I feel like I can learn a lot from my job. Of course, there's going to come a time where I'm not going to be able to uh, learn uh, learn any more. But if that's going to be the case, then I don't. I really don't mind because I know that there's going to be opportunities, and I'm going to be able to stick with my job, and everything's going to. I feel like everything would be okay. Damn it! Yeah, oh, yeah, damn it! At least with that, you're getting a purpose. Me, I'm just trying to learn some things that I hope to be useful elsewhere and as soon as something better comes along I'm gonna bail. Like because... in terms in terms of data entry for me example. Like I'm I'm learning a program that is used for data entry. But um I don't I don't know I know that not many like only photography photography students and uh, not photography students, uh studios will only be using them and uh whatchamacallit um and so will uh, maybe schools themselves. But I know how to do data entry. I know how to be time with it. I know how to I know how to work with it, and I know what it, it will entail. But as far as um, 
as far as like learning just data entry, I know I can't just learn data entry. I can learn how to crop pictures. I can learn mm -hmm. how to work with them. I can learn how to print um, and, and learn how to fix pictures as well. And not only in terms of cropping, but in, um, in terms of, uh, I want to say, fuck me. I, <laughs> in terms of, um, in terms of actually being professional about it, like these are things that, oh, damn. These are things that I can actually, I can actually learn and I can take with me. But, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I, I really enjoy my job. It was so, just a little stressful this this week because of everything. Damn it. Anyways, so you want to explain something to me, um, Eric? It's about football. Okay, ask away. Ah, uh, damn it. I know we don't talk much about sports, and I'm really sorry to you, Eric, if if we don't. Um, there's just so much, so many things that I can talk to you about in terms of, like, politics and stuff. That, for example, when we when I was working in, with Steven on the SE and Saki show, like, um, it was very hard for me to actually discuss with him uh, in, in all the stuff that we discuss here and actually, actually have a, a shit actually have um, a really good time with it and um, you know because him was he was always focused on sports and I know sports I just don't know I, I don't know as much as I want to know but um damn it but I wanted to I, I do apologize for 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 in the past that we we don't really discuss it as much as we should that's the first thing Okay, well, I mean, was there anything you wanted to discuss in particular? Because, I mean, I can give you everything from a crash course to, like, specific stuff. Well, yes. Um, so, you know Charlie Strong, I believe? Yes. You know that he's... That there's been, like, multiple reports that he was getting fired, but then they weren't firing him. I want to know what is your opinion, what you think is happening, what's go ah, Fuck, what's going on, and, um... Yeah, there you go. Those are my questions. I'm not gonna die now. Okay. <laughs> Why are uh, you laughing? Why are you uh, laughing, Eric? Very funny incident that happened with my mom just now. Shit. Making an appearance into the room, but um, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure I love that woman. But two things. Number one, you know a little bit about Texas football. Are they been one of the preeminent programs yes. throughout history? Yes. Well, just last week, they played Kansas, which mm -hmm. is a basketball school that has a football team. This is a team that hadn't won a game in about a year, a calendar year, especially in conference. Mm -hmm. Last week, in overtime, Kansas beat Texas. At right. home, 24-21. Okay. That was the first time that Kansas had beaten Texas since 1938. Okay. So, between that and this and this week, they play Friday against TCU. They need a win to get to 6-6 six and six and to be bowl eligible. Mm -hmm. Because you typically have to be at least 6-6 six and six in order to be considered... For invitation to a bowl game, right? Which um, I just want to mention that our, the Miami Hurricanes are being considered for that, right? Damn it! Ah, uh, yes. Where we win next week, we'll be eight and four. So I'm hoping that a win would get them in the Tax Slayer Bowl, which is right up here in Jacksonville, and I can finagle my way to a ticket to see them. Nice. Emphasis on I have to still finagle a ticket, but anyways. The Tax Slayer Bowl has to pick them to come up and play, and it's a whole big process and a big to do. But, a win next week would get them to be bowl eligible. That would put them at this year's 6 and 6. Charlie Strong has not had a good tender in Texas. With that loss to Kansas, 5 and 6 on the year, 16 and 20, and winding down his third season at Texas. Now, keep in mind, Texas has been, had a football team for a very, very long oh time. My God! Sorry. Continue. He is, he is only the second head coach 
in the program's history to have a losing record. Mm -hmm. The first one was back in the 40s. Mm -hmm. So, rumor was he's lost to Kansas. He's done. He's fired. Mm -hmm. He's out. But it was a big back and forth about since they have TCU and possibly a bowl game, mm -hmm. which would be at some point in the month of December, mm -hmm. let him coach those last two games and that be it. And then it's a whole thing back and forth. He's gone. He'll stay. He's gone. He'll stay. Now, the top brass at the university said they're going to evaluate things at the end of the season, which means he'll be fired. Charlie Strong came out and personally said, they haven't told me anything. Normally, that's not good. So the big fuss is whether he should just be canned immediately, you have an interim coach the next two games, and then begin your search, or... You keep him as a lame duck and begin your search anyways. What is the normal circumstance when, it, when in terms of like firing a head coach? Like what is the normal circumstance? Like here we had when we had Al Golden, we fired mm -hmm. him literally towards the end of the season. And yes. we had an interim coach in the, in the meantime. So yeah. what is the norm when it comes to that? <clears throat> well, there's really no norm. It depends on the program and where they're going to go. Like, for example, LSU, mm -hmm. they fired Les Miles mm -hmm. mid-season after a game. They, they have Ed Orgeron, who they brought in. He's the interim head coach, and he's seen the season out. And who knows what's going to happen going to next year. But typically, most schools, they will let you finish a season Unless it's a typically historic loss. Mm -hmm. If it's a really historic loss, then you are gone. But with one, two games left, you usually stick around, but then you're fired immediately. Mm -hmm. So that way you can bring in a new head coach and you can get a jump on recruiting. But if it's mid-season or early in the season... And you have five, six games left to have a new guy to help write the ship. Some schools will pull the trigger. So it's on a case-by-case -case basis. Okay. And Texas has already believed that they can't take it anymore with Charlie Strong losing. So therefore, it's time to cut our losses and mm -hmm. shit and be gone, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Again. First head coach with the losing record at their time in Texas since the early the mid 40s. Worst winning percentage at te Texas, and this is a school. Their football team makes millions. Mm -hmm. Big stadium. Their football team actually has their, or it led to the school having their own television network mm -hmm. just by themselves. Mm -hmm. So when you have a big like the, the big program, a big school like Texas, and you have a cash cow like this, losing is unacceptable, especially with what's going on in their conference. You have teams like Oklahoma who's starting to make noise again. You've had Baylor who's traditionally been a minnow. You have Oklahoma State. All these teams that you can easily out recruit and beat that are not only beating you, but are also ranked and you're not. So this is very, very foreign territory for Texas, and they like to keep it that way. Okay. That's going to be my next question in terms of, like, like how much of a law, how, like, how much losing is acceptable, and what you're saying is Texas is... Like, they cannot afford fuck. They cannot afford any losses. Like, losing is, like as you said, is unacceptable. Not for this long. Because this is Charlie Strong's third year mm -hmm. at the school. Mm -hmm. He has made no progress. If you were at least making progress, you will stick around. 
like, for example, Mark Rick at Miami. Yeah. He took a team that was pretty blah, could get them to 84 with a win on Saturday, could get them to a big bowl game. Mm -hmm. Yes, not in any competition to win the Coastal or to go to the ACC title game, but... And I'm going to end my fan early, because I said this when he was first hired. Mm -hmm. If by the end of 2017, I'm looking at the Hurricanes and saying they are going to be big-time competitors for some sort of title by the end of 2019, mm -hmm. then I will admit Mark Rick was a good hire. And I said, he gets a free season from me, shutting my mouth, not saying anything good or bad. That is, that is, that attitude is what I have now with the Hurricanes, mm -hmm. and also with the Dolphins. Um, number one, the way that their defense, I've always said that it's been really great. Mm -hmm. It's superb. I think they're doing a great job. It's their offense that always kills them. And... Mm -hmm. I am telling you right now <clears throat> that I, as much as they are on a winning streak right now, it's like five, I don't believe that that, that it's going to continue. I don't well, believe. I, 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 don't go ahead. Fuck, I, sorry. I, I just, I, 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 I want to give it, I want to give them time. I want to give them time before I actually give any criticism. Well, I will say. That was one of our topics on the football box. Definitely go back and listen to that, and you're going to hear some surprising opinions about how the Dolphins Shit. could finish their season. What's it, what's and, what are some of the opinions? Give me a give me give me a teaser. Um, the winning streak and the schedule. There's a surprising upward trend. That's all I will say. Any chance of actually making it to the playoffs and probably winning? <laughs> no, that I can't tell you. You have to tune in and listen. <laughs> really? Can you? Can't you just tell me after the show? Shit. Maybe. 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 Okay. Yeah, it'll cost you. It'll cost you. Really? When does it yes, not? Really. When does it not cost me? Oh come on now! <laughs> I wouldn't get away with stuff. Don't leave it. <laughs> But time back into the point, the fact that the Hurricanes are showing something, and I'm thinking, okay, especially for a first season under Mark Rick, this was a good season. I can say that now. <clears throat> but with Charlie Strong, there was no good season. In fact, there's been signs of going backwards. No, very little development of an offense. Even though he's a defensive-minded coach, the defense has been slipping up as well. And the fact that you have head coach Tom Herman at nearby University of Houston, Dark Horse team just beat one of the top teams in the country in Louisville, just thrashed them, was so close to an unbeaten season last year, having another great season and could potentially win the conference title and sneak into a big bowl game this season, that's huge. And, well, another thing against Charlie Strong, you have coaches that will make progress and turn teams around right away. Mm -hmm. Urban Meyer at Ohio State. His first season at Ohio State, undefeated. With a, with a postseason ban, with a bowl ban, with fewer scholarships, still undefeated. Nearly won the AP national title. Then, lo and behold, now he's won a national championship with them already. Potentially on the verge of setting himself up for at least another big time no, game God. this year. Damn it! Oh my god, this is so difficult, Eric. This is so difficult. Why? Fuck no, god. I, 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 yay, yay. Okay. Okay. I was actually gonna t talk to you about uh, this game called a um, Vinyl Lullaby. Um, so I, I was wondering what the hell was up with that when I saw the title of that video. I was like, what? 
<laughs> oh, the late, the late night. Okay, so check this out, right? Um, I, I actually have videos. I have like one or two episodes, but I'm not gonna up. Fuck, I'm not gonna upload them for the reason of that I. Number one, I was running into some problems with Premiere, the actual mm-hmm. Adobe version, not the one that we got. Uh, you know, you know what, which one I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Um, I ran into some problems where there's some for some reason my it's my audio is being like it's not being copied over like disc error right like there's a disc error and I have to figure it out. I'm pretty sure though it's just probably like the file got corrupted because I left it on like running for five hours without realizing that I was still recording for five hours uh don't ask me that why that happened it just it just happened um Uh, don't I I don't know why that happened I I, there was nothing in there it it was just it's just a black screen probably no audio uh but it's it's still frustrating because I can't really um I can't really know much from it like like I, I don't know what happened so um, I'm not gonna publish them but I tried running the stream on um, I want to say it was a couple of days back it was recent though it was like really recent and the game is so crappy in the sense of shit in the sense of like actually running the game um, on my computer and I'm, I want to be clear that the, my computer is a Surface Pro, but it is a very powerful machine where it runs Dark Souls. Um, it could even run Overwatch if I if I had the memory for it. Um, it will also run a couple of other games. So this is this is a this is a, not a video video game computer, but it's a very decent one. And the thing is that I. I could not run this game, and this game is an indie game. It's not supposed to run so um, crappy as I thought it was. So I'm like, I'm just gonna finish the game because I, I, I'm in the Facebook group with Sean as the gamer gamers. Like, I don't know if you noticed, but I've been writing gaming reviews. I have. So, and I'm bringing a couple of other stuff, like top fives and stuff like that. But um, normally I don't shit. Eh, no, damn it, I was so close. So normally I run games pretty well. If anything, I'll probably lower their quality so that I can run them and stream them or record them like I do with Dead by Daylight. But even if I had really wanted to, I could still run Dead by Daylight with minimum lag. So playing Albino Lullaby, it really, like I'm finishing the review tonight and like thinking about it, like I really did not like this game. Not only because it, I started off bad, um, it was it's too dark for me to even play the game. Number one, um, and with e- all of that, I still went through it. The notes in the game and the storyline are all like grammatically incorrect, and I don't know whether if it's because that's how they want the monsters or the people writing the notes to portray themselves that they are not fully correct in grammar and they're not fully into. They don't know much about writing. But oh my god, like I couldn't take it. And then there was also the textures, like some textures blended in with the others. The notes, I couldn't read half of the notes un- unless I moved from the from a certain place. And I think I even died once or twice because of that. Um, graphics wise, I liked the art style, but it was so repetitive that I could not enjoy it. And then the monsters. Um, at first when you see them they're like scary but when you try to go head to head with them plus the lag and everything it made the experience very uncomfortable for me and very very awful for me I I have to say and I don't like saying that about games because number one I'm not a game developer Mm -hmm. so I don't know the hard work that's being put in to games like that and I don't know you know what was the situation and what are you know how, how much they actually went into it but oh my god, I he could not play. I, I I finished it because I had to, so I could get the review and I could give the full opinion. Mm-hmm. But I was very disappointed, and uh, and like I said, I don't like to say that a video game is awful because I don't I don't think video games are awful. I think that that they fail to achieve what they were trying to achieve. Yeah. And, um. When it comes to saying video games are awful, it's like you're actually 
I don't know. You're just actually giving them a bad, a bad rep, and I don't want to give it to them. But this game, I felt, was very disappointing. Very, very disappointing. And I was explaining to Sean too, and, and this is actually a lesson to a lot of you gamers out there, especially if you're watching the stream or if you're gonna listen to this later. Um, no matter what the reviews say about a game, I think that gamers should always try to play the game, even if there's not um, a lot of good. Now, I'm not saying that you spend a good sixty dollars on a game, and the, and the game has a lot of bad reviews. Like tampoco es así. But I am saying that if it's like an indie game, for example, and it doesn't have a lot of people liking the game, the reasons why they are not liking the game could very well be because of how limited indie games are and how um, how how limited resource they are. Because you know that indie games, they're not big games. They're, and when I mean by game games, I'm not talking about title-wise. I'm talking about like developer-wise. That they're, they don't have the full on team that a game like Square Enix, that, uh, like a game of Final Fantasy for example will have. A game right. like Final Fantasy is gonna have a bunch of like awesome people on on their teams and they're gonna have a bunch of teams and, and not only that like there's gonna be specific people on that team like you're gonna have a specific person for artists, drawings, you're gonna have a specific person for character, you're gonna have a specific person for script, like they're, they're gonna have a lot of people, a lot of time, a lot of resources. Um, and when I mean by time, like I mean that they're gonna that these people are equipped to do a certain job, and that's it, and they move on mm -hmm. to the next thing. Indie games, they're doing everything by themselves. Like the game I'm playing, for example, a small group of people did it for the Wii U, and before they ported it over to the Steam. And that for me tells a lot because even though like this game is frustrating and it's annoying as fuck and I'm dying like 20,000 times, I'm still getting, I'm still enjoying the game and I'm still, uh, there's still a lot to get from it. And so I was explaining to Sean because he was like saying, listen, you know, your guy's gonna have to start doing games that you're not gonna like, that could be considerably bad, but you know, we gotta get these games done if we wanna keep branching out to other developers so that they can go ahead and they can check out them, check out the website or whatnot, and they can give us more games. And I remember telling him, I think it was actually today, that I, um, I, I told him, he said something about giving me a game, I think it was for the Steam if I'm not mistaken, and he was saying, look, there's this game, um, they want us to review it, but it's one of those games that have like bad reputation or whatever. And you, we gotta get to it. And I'm like, I'll be happy to do it. The only thing is that um, I I don't want to call it a bad game before I play it because that defeats the number one. That defeats the purpose of me reviewing the game. And number two, it defeats the purpose of me actually enjoying the game and finding it out for myself. And that's why when I write my reviews, I try to be as unbiased as possible. Even though I know you can technically be biased with them because it's a matter of opinion like you're reviewing under your opinion and this is why your opinion is valid and and whatnot but even then i try to avoid that because i feel that games are not meant to be be played like that um each game is different it's not like a movie i don't want to i don't think movies and games are the same and unless you're describing in terms of graphics um movies it depends on 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 actor, on character, on a lot of things. And even they go through a lot of shit to get things done. But I do believe that um, when it comes to video games, uh, in order to get to, for someone to enjoy the game and actually a game have success, is if they play the game themselves and also with, um, with a good idea of what they're going into. I'm a big fan of people like I, I'm in a big fan of like finding out what I'm gonna get into, which is why I don't mind reading stuff about video games. But I don't like to call them out that they're terrible, that they're bad. In the case of Obama and Lullaby, when I write my review and I'm and I'm finishing it, um, I am gonna try to write as uh, as unbiased as possible. But I will tell you this that um, it did not satisfy me. Shit. Haha, uh -huh. bitch! I did it. I defeated her. Um, it did not give me what I wanted, and I was left very disappointed. And I win. Holy shit, I win.
Well, I mean, <sighs> and this is a fine line, unbiased or not. You have to call a spade a spade. I mean, in sports, and I've been covering sports, fortunately, for some years now. If there's a terrible team, everybody can see that they're a terrible team. People are going to say they're a terrible team. They can't shine them up and say, oh, well, all these positive things, positive things, positive things, if they're in the toilet. Games are the same way. I mean, if something is bad, then you're not being terrible. You're not being biased when you say it's bad. If it just flat out is, I mean, you can give your list of reasons. How am Some I supposed your to do this? Biased, but <laughs> How am I supposed to do this? I'm I'm defying gravity right now. How the hell am I supposed to do this shit? Well, sometimes defying gravity is an entirely bad thing. I mean. Hell, just like I listened to this podcast and I think I told you about this, the fact that there's a whole bunch of reasonings about how our entire universe could just be a simulation. Right now, we could be living in a version of Mr. Tompkins in Wonderland. Mr. Tompkins in Wonderland? Yeah! I, I heard about this, um... Damn uh, it! It's an se- old series of books. It's about a... Senator on a man, kind of like middle road average guy, he goes to this fake science lecture and he falls asleep. And he has these dreams where different scientific realities change. Like, for one example, old Planck's constant is different, so matter reacts differently and you can walk through walls. Or in another book, the speed of light is only 10 miles an hour. <laughs> Things like that. <laughs> Damn it! <sighs> I'm sorry. I, I, I'm enjoying this game, which by the way, if you didn't know, Eric, this game was given to me by the developer. Um, so I'm doing this game as a review. But, this makes oh, a lot of sense now. This is, uh, yes, it makes a lot of sense as to why I'm playing and torturing myself and um, <clears throat> I'm just getting frustrated um, another thing I wanted to do to say and kind of close this out is that I've been playing Pokemon Moon it's, it's legit fun game right and um, there's another one wait no wait 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 this is this this is important actually this is this is actually I think better if not this is the true sequel to pokemon to the original pokemon let me explain let me explain Mm. let me explain i think this game pokemon moon and pokemon sun gives the new flavor of pokemon that it does needs actually um since its original game was uh released um you know i don't know if you ever played it have you ever played the first one yeah, that one actually, I remember I was in middle school and that was before you were even born. Okay, so... <laughs> Jesus, Eric. So... Yeah, yeah, <clears throat> I say but, that on purpose. Let that sink in and you see my reasoning from the get go. But <laughs> after, but wait, 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 after you played it, did you ever try to play the second ones or you just got tired of it of being the like they were you able to play the second one where you could say this was the same thing as the first one somewhat i just looked at that and i saw all the updates and other versions and i'm like remind me what the point of this is okay so what i really <laughs> like about no 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 but what i really like about moon is that they give the pokemon an entire different taste and um, Pokemon, what happens is is that y- you have okay, to go. I could have made some weird jokes on that one, so you gotta pull the nose up here. <laughs> so, but Pokemon, what in the first one is the gym leaders become the greatest of them all, collect all the Pokemon, train your Pokemon, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. There was literally almost six generations. I want to say maybe even seven. I may be wrong, but almost six generations of the same thing happening over again and 
people who played it, like the people who are actual Pokemon fans, like myself, actually played the game because you know they wanted to see if it was different, and they're you know we're diehard fans. Pokemon Moon, I think, is the true sequel to the original Pokemon. Okay. In now, what way? Okay, so number one, they do what every sequel does. And they take a little bit of the old and put it in their own version. It's what they're supposed to do, what sequels are supposed to do. Pokemon Moon takes the original um, Pokemon of the original Pokemon, like the first 150 or 100. Yeah, the red and blue. Mm hmm. And they take that those Pokemon and they either give them new forms or they add them to a, a new a new light. In, uh, in some form or way. Then comes the part of when Pokemon Moon adds its own... Uh, I, I am going to quit this level because this is a terrible level. level. Um, so, the... Uh, I want to say Pokemon Moon, you know, has the mixture of the original and then it has its own brand new taste. But the biggest thing I think is that it takes... The storyline, number one, is entirely different than what was the original Pokemon and it has a new form of achieving what Poke what the original Pokemon does but in an entirely different light which is actually have badges that affect your Pokemon in the set terms of moves and actually give like you're not battling a gym leader you're battling Pokemon in the wild and it's, it's completely different it's and I'm gonna have to write a review because Sean got, got me the game to review it. But holy shit, Eric. This game is what I wanted to see when I played, um, I want to say after I played Pokemon Diamond. Because that was the, that was the only Pokemon that I actually played and I enjoyed and it was after I played the Kanto region. I didn't play any of the other regions unless it was when we released like Alpha, uh, like Sapphire and, and and uh, uh, heart gold and soul silver. So yeah. Uh, I wonder if I gave Patrick Stewart a couple strong ball right now, would he face palm for me? I mean, I... if there is a way that I could face palm, a face palm of a face palm. I'd be doing that right about now. Oh my goodness. Well, we've reached the end of our show. <laughs> Unfortunately. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, we've had a pretty, pretty interesting week, don't you think? Well, considering the decisions of our great and fearless leader, Cheeto Lini, I mean, yes. <laughs> oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Are we still with the nicknames? Yes, and I'm still telling people, you know the hashtag. Hashtag FS nicknames, hashtag FS pump names. Keep it coming, because I, I don't want things to get dried up. This is only the beginning, folks. Um, happy Thanksgiving, Eric. Yes, happy Thanksgiving to you, Saki, to everyone out there. May the food be delicious, the football be excellent, and your family be tolerable. And whatever substances you partake of, be mind-altering in a pleasant way. <laughs> okay. My name is Saki. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching and also listening for later on. Uh, be sure to check us out, or check me out, rather, on Saki Sakura on my YouTube, or at Sakura underscore Steph 309 on Twitter. We'll have the this episode on the speaker and on the W2M website, hopefully by uh, <clears throat> tomorrow. I don't want to say tomorrow because tomorrow's Thanksgiving and everybody's off, but hopefully by Friday. Your turn, Eric. Well, I, I, I currently am the squid, and as you notice, as an extra Thanksgiving present to everyone, you didn't get another peek into any randomness of my life, but, but just like things, don't let your guard down, because trust me, I will be back with the vengeance. Um, 
Follow me on Twitter at Squid Sports Head. Again, submit your nicknames, hashtag FS nicknames, hashtag FS Trump names. Bring them on. Um, I'm also on at inside underscore arena. Right now, we got a big show for the Arena Football League coming up in the month of December to kind of wrap everything up and do a 2017 season preview. Um, still also listen to at this week in AFL for this week in the AFL with your podcast and to accompany inside the arena for the various writings. At the Football 5, new episode of today. Different format, better format in my opinion, so definitely tune into this one, and I think that about covers everything. Alright guys, till next time, hopefully we'll, we're going to also, just so you guys know for next time, we may be moving the show to Saturday, well maybe depending on how much we can, we can figure out. We'll keep discussing that, Eric, later on. Okay. Uh, but, um, yeah, we we may be th- <clears throat> moving to Saturday only because we, they seem to be a little tough on us than when, when we're normal, what we're normal to. Um, but we will keep you guys updated. So, as always, Muse, thank you so much for watching and listening, and we hope to see you guys in the next video slash episode. Bye, Muse. Do your homework and don't forget to be awesome.